Hi guys, so today we are finally viewing the uh, Wish Beauty Gadgets video. So I have armed myself with the, um, the cat line, the eyeliner, um, the other eyeliner stencil, I have the rip-off vamp stamp, and I have some magnetic eyelashes. So um, I got a warning from a viewer that they had tried these and that they ripped their eyelashes out. So I'm kind of skeptical to these, but I do still want to try them. Um, but I'm either way going to, to do this um, last because eyeliner goes first. So in addition to those, I have armed myself with some micellar water, some oil-based um, eye makeup remover, pads and q-tips. And I have one, two, three, four different gel liners, two different, um, well, they're not different, but different color uh, liquid liners and some brushes that I can use to apply them. So I think I want to try out the cat ones first, just because this seems fun. Okay, we're taking them out and these are adorable. <laughs> they look like little cats. So they're just like this. This is one. And this is the other. And then on the back, it shows you how to use them. Um, so. Like this is one. And I think I want to try that one, which is number one. Um... And uh, I also have a mirror here, and I have some water because I don't know how long this is going to take. So in all these pictures, it clearly shows liquid liner. So that's what I'm going to try first. Uh, liquid liners, I have the ones from Kat Von D, the ink liners, in um, uh, Nerdrum and Trooper, which is a blue and a black. And then for the gel ones, I have the Essence Gel Eyeliner in Miami's Ink, which is like a gray. I have the ColourPop one in Call Me, Catrice one in Blackjack with Jack Black, which is black, and the Elf Cream Eyeliner in black. So um, we have a lot of options to make this work, a lot of different formulas, new ones and open ones, and so on. So we're going to try this first and I'm going to start out with the liquid liner. So I'm going to use uh, the Kat Von D ink liner for this. And uh, I'm going to have to like fix something because I have to be able to like do this and I can't hold a mirror. So, um, okay, I have my mirror down here, but I feel like I should build it up a little bit. I'm going to go get a box. If I bend down like this, can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. Okay, let's do it. So this is like this. And I have not put anything on my eye. No primer, nothing. But okay, so this bend is supposed to go into your inner corner like this. So I just filled in the outer part. <laughs> this is terrible. There is no saving this. And I think that might be because this liquid liner is really thin. So I'm going to try it out with a gel liner instead. I'm just going to wipe off me and the... Um, Since this one is wet now, I'm going to try the other side. Okay. And I'm going to try the Catrice one, which um, I have used before quite a lot. And 
I'm just really loading up this brush because I'm not going to be able to put this down to load it up again because then I have to move the stencil. Okay. Let's try it again. I'm not gonna follow this all the way in, but like this. Okay, that's not too bad. And you can definitely like fix it a little bit. So if I do this all the way in, this is not a bad line. And that took me like two minutes just holding this on and like but uh, definitely a lot easier with a gel liner than with a liquid liner. So what do we think? I think that's pretty good. And it's so cute. It's like I want to just carry it around because it's cute. Um, this is very bendy too so you can like fit it to your eye if you need to. And I'm not going to try every single shape I think. But I'm definitely going to do like one from each of the cats. So we're gonna do, I wanna try the cuts, but with this part, we should put like this. And I'm just gonna keep going with the same eyeliner. Seems that that was working pretty well. Ooh, I hit pan on it. No, I didn't. Wait. No, it just looked like it. I actually really like this line. It looks good. Mm. Maybe I should see if they match instead. Let's do that too. Okay, it's like this. This is a little bit thicker, like down here, but my eyes are not the same, so that doesn't really surprise me very well. But um, it would be pretty easy to fix, just take a q-tip and like wipe off the bottom right here. This eyeliner is really um, stuck on there, which is a good thing. I should probably use the oil-based makeup remover, but you get the point. <laughs> You're definitely gonna dry on your hand though. So if you use this and you touch it up a little bit, I think that touched it up too much. They're not the same, but this is good. With some practice, I mean this is not bad either. I could wear either or, but they're not the same. But with some practice, I definitely think that this, this number one, is definitely usable. So I'm just gonna get um, some eyeliner remover and just take this off. Okay, and we're trying the butt. Maybe I'll try another. Okay, I changed my um, my brush, and we're gonna test that color pop. This is like a dark brown, red brown. And again, I'm just loading up my brush pretty well. I'm just gonna do it like this. Okay, so number eight, which is like the cat's butt. Okay, and then you're supposed to do it like this. I don't think this fits my eye very well. Because on the picture, like this. Um, angle right here is like this but that's not gonna work because this this part like the top part right here is not the part that I circle with is getting this one right so we're gonna try something different yeah we can do this part which 
I'm going to line it up and draw this line, which is turning crooked, but if I hadn't dragged it that far, it would have been fine. Oh, damn it. Let's do that again. Okay, so this in theory seems like it will be pretty easy. Just make sure the stencil is clean. So again, I'm just going to draw this down and this down, but you can see still that this goes way up and this goes up. But let's see here. Okay, I know they're open, but like, I mean, the difference isn't that big. Actually, they're not that bad. I could definitely wear this out and it wouldn't bother me that one was a little bit different. Um, my eyeliner, like I said, my eyes are not the same, so my eyeliner is always slightly different. And uh, these hairs are bothering me. If they bother you too, I'm sorry. I don't know if you can see them. But uh, yeah, uh, for the cats, I actually think that some of these could work pretty well. Um, obviously, I don't have time to try all the different ones because there are like 10 different ways to do this. And um, I've been filming for 17 minutes already. So, you know, um, but I definitely think that this could work. Uh, and there are also like different types, like you can do this. And for like um, this part, if you're doing like um, eye makeup and you don't want it to go outside, you can do like this. So I definitely think this is a versatile product. And um, if you have time to practice, I have never done this before. I just opened them like you saw. Uh, and I think that they are actually pretty fun. Plus they're like adorable. So I definitely... Um, if you want to, they're definitely worth a try. But I definitely do think that the um, gel liner is the way to go with this. Um, especially for like these ones, because you won't be able to hold them tight enough for the liquid liner not to get into the cracks of your skin. Um, but uh, I'm definitely going to keep these and uh, I think they're really fun. And then we're going to try the other guide. And instead of having several ways to do it in this, oh, they just stuck in there. And uh, there is a little bit of a guide in here. But just for one of them. And I think you're just supposed to find whatever you um, are most comfortable with. So that's what we're gonna do and it also comes with this little eyeline application so you can like I guess measure how many centimeters or inches you make your wing and um, I don't know are you yeah so you're supposed to put it like this and then follow the line And then you can use whichever suits you. And uh, they're all pretty similar. And they're all pretty thick. I like my line like here to be pretty thin because I have hooded eyes. Like this is pretty big. So if I open my eyes like this, you won't be able to see any color on my eyelid. You would just be able to see the eyeliner. Um, but for the sake of this video, we are going to test it out, and, um, which ones do I like better? I like C, so this is the one that we're using today. And I don't know if I should, probably I'll just line it up like this. And then I'm gonna keep on with the, um, with the gel liner, since that seems to be working pretty well. And now I'm gonna go on to the essence one, just so we get to try several different ones. 
And uh, this is actually one that I typically do um, like a base and not as a typical like eyeliner, but that doesn't matter. Load it up. Okay. It took like all of two seconds. Not the best result. There's like not. The wing is missing. So I'm just gonna replace it on again. Okay. So there is like slight wing there now, so you can trace it. I don't know if the silver is hard to see, but, um, I mean, this could work. I'm gonna try another one on my other eye. I'm gonna try B on the other side, and I'm gonna go black, back to a black eyeliner so you can see what I'm doing, or like a darker one. So, I'm headed back to ColourPop. I'm sorry if you can hear the dryer or the um, the laundry in the background. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Okay, I don't remember which one I'm s I said I was going to do, so we're doing A on this side. And like I said, like it's just the wing that I want hope with because this is way too much but I'm gonna do the whole thing just to see how it actually works I think it is pretty similar to this um, but for my case like this part here is way too thick compared to this part but the wing itself is um, tiny, but it's cute. But I feel like I'm putting a lot more pressure on my eye when using this part because I have to hold this tight. So my eye is a little bit blurry um, compared to what it would be if I was doing uh, my eyeliner freehand like this. And um, we have one more, so I'm gonna find it here. This part. So this is a vamp stamp from Wish and this is in the large size. They had a smaller one but I like my wing to be bigger than this so I'm gonna um, get this and I'm gonna try to make it equal so I'm gonna remove both sides of my eyeliner. So unlike the stamps this is just for the wing and uh, it will not help you with the line and there's a left side and a right side. So uh, I'm going to try this with the liquid liner first because I feel like that might be easier. Uh, and then if that doesn't work, we'll just go back to the, the to the gel again. So I don't, I don't know. I'm just going to draw it on there. Well, I definitely did a two pointed upwards. Um, but apart from that, it's not a bad line, but I'm going to have to start over. I'm gonna do the left side now so this can dry and then I'm just gonna try it on here okay that did not work at all I mean, it's all right, but obviously I have a bone right here, so this is protruding more than this part. So my liner is darker on the top and on the bottom, and then it's lighter in the middle, which means that I would have to fix this, and if you're not a steady hand, you will get out of it, because it's not matching up. Um, and uh, if you have a steady hand, most likely you can do a line without help like this. 
I got a comment <laughs> on a video that I swear. And uh, I do occasionally. I don't swear a lot. Sometimes I do. And sometimes that happens to be in videos. And um, if you don't like it, I'm sorry. But I'm gonna not going to change the way I speak for YouTube. Okay, I'm going to try this with a gel liner now and see if that works better. Um, so I'm just using the Catrice Black Liner. And I brought this one, so it might be a little bit easier to paint it on here. Again, it, it, the, the shape is fine. I like the shape. Um, but you would have to like cover up this part because it's not dark enough, uh, which might be because the eyeliner is drying up. It might be because I didn't put enough on here. Okay, so it's even thinner on the left side. You can barely see it and it's too pointed upwards. It should have been like that. But anyway, I don't think this is the way to go, like the stencils, especially the cat one was a lot easier to use and it didn't take as many tries to get it right. And I think those were all of the eyeliner gadgets I had here. So we're gonna try this one and I have to say I'm a little bit nervous and I should probably clean this up a little bit before we do that. Magnetic eyelashes, take one. I don't know how strong these magnets are. They both have the magnets on the same side, which is kind of weird. I feel like one should be on the top and one should be on the bottom. But, um... Because they're, like, bent upwards, so you can't just, like, flip them over. But they all have the magnets on the same side, which is kind of weird. But we're gonna do this. So I have a pair of tweezers and another pair of tweezers so hopefully we can get this right um, okay. it's falling down I don't know where it went maybe the bottom one not with the tweezer and then my tweezers are magnetic I don't want to cooperate. I don't know how this is going to go. This is so hard. Like this. They just... Okay. Since my tweezers are magnetic, they just wanted to stick on there. I mean, they're on there. It's not pretty. It's, they're right here. I think magnetic lashes is a fun idea. Um, I struggled to get one eyelash on my eye using both hands, so I don't know how they're supposed to put these two in the same place, like under and over my eye at the same time and still see in the mirror what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna call quits on the magnetic lashes they're not for me um, but as for the templates I think they were fun I do like the cats one better than this one I think these ones are better specifically this one but they come in a two-pack so you won't be able to get one without the other I think and um, I don't think this one is a hit I think it's weird and I don't know um, since this is straight and my eye is not it's like a bone here my so I don't know, but uh, I think it's a fun idea, but I, I might actually be using the cats again because I think this was fun, but um, um, I mean, there's a lot of different ways to do this so you can like flip it over and do anything like, so um, yeah, I don't, I don't even know, but at least I got to try some weird eBay beauty gadgets 
and uh, I really do hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I know it was a pretty long one, but most of my wish related videos are, so I hope you en enjoyed it either way. Uh, remember to give it a big like if you liked it, leave any comments down below, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!